Batman. Looks like someone brought a bat to a knife fight. Son of a bitch! <laughs> well, Let me go. Welcome to this year's boiler deck fights. <laughs> you know I always get a laugh out of you first round, Lord. <laughs> That's why I keep you boys around. <laughs> well, that and I need someone to clean out the pizza. <laughs> Hosting some kind of fighting tournament. That's where I need to go. Let's have us a little chat about respect. It ain't easy to come by these days, especially not this city. Well, we all know respect can also be bought. So why not buy yourself some with a new firearm that really makes a statement? Don't delay! Get yours today! <laughs> the latest the military surveillance gear. Not bad. Yeah, pretty sweet, right? Cousin was using these in the war. Boss, find any bias for him yet? Nah, Penguin's just been tested. was right. These drones are the same as the one I found at Blackgate.
on, ladies! Stop trying to keep your dresses clean and fight! Oh, you're awake, aren't you? All right, lads. The rest of you losers to be are gonna have to embarrass yourselves without me. God knows you can do it. I've got some business to take care of in the office, and I don't want to be disturbed. Sounds like Penguin will be in his office. Tracy should know where that is. I'll make her talk. Show me where the penguin is! You jack. A little more pressure and I'll crush your larynx. What's it going to be? All right, all right. Uh, he's in his office. 
Only way in is through the theater. On the other side of the casino. <clears throat> but you'll never get past Tracy. Tracy is not a problem. That worked better than the last interrogation. This idiot doesn't know anything. My best bet for finding Black Mask lies with Penguin. the break into this heat. <laughs> All part of Penguin's plan, I'm sure. Question is, can Tracy stop him before he gets to the boss? I ain't that worried about it. Tracy, she knows what she's doing. She's tough, ain't she? Oh, on everything but the eyes. Lester Baczynski. The electrocutioner. Are you all right? Yes, but he managed to escape. His gloves put out a strong electromagnetic pulse. If you can isolate the signal, I'll be able to track him down. I'll get to work on that. Where are you off to now? I'm on my way to the final offer's casino. I'm going to make Penguin's assistant show me to her boss.
casino. Penguin's assistant must be nearby. I'll make her tell me where I can find Cobblepot's office. guy's probably scared him off. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling better. office is connected to the theater. I need to hack the security system and get...
Hello, oh, son. You know you ain't welcome here. And you know what we do to Trish bosses? Well, you're about to find out, ain't ya? You're about to lose the rage! Somali pirates. They were gonna sell her for scrap if you can believe it. <laughs> now she weren't always called a final offer. That was my work of genius. <laughs> In a previous life, she was the hybrid cargo cruise liner Olivia B. Meredith. A proud old ship indeed. They don't build them like this anymore. Tough as nails and with all the amenities a man could want. Those pirates don't know what they let slip through their fingers. What do you want? I didn't do nothing. Who's your boss? What does Penguin want with him? Alberto Falcone. But I got no idea what Penguin wants with him, I swear. I don't know what your game is, but old man Falcone will be in your debt if you take Cobblepot down. He's right through that door back there. No thanks. I don't need the Falcones in my debt. Now, where were we? Candy. You suggested little Alberto over here. Hey, baby. Try to convince his father to take early retirement. He disagreed and called you a, let's see, psychotic little bastard. Oh, 
No, 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 please! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Now you best listen, Falcone. Cause this is the last time I'll ask. What are you gonna tell your father? That we're getting out of the weapons business. I promise. I'll make him do it. <laughs> I see your lips flapping, Bernie. But they ain't making the sound I want to hear. You idiots better kill me. Please, don't hurt me. I only kills you. Punch him in the face. Kill him, you bloody white Come on, man. Remind me why I pay you punches. Don't stand here! Now hold on! Hold on a bloody minute! Oh, I ain't seen your act! I ain't done nothing you've not done! Stop! Black Mask! Put a bounty on my head! Where is he? I don't keep tabs on him in Giza with a grudge. You're not a popular bloke in this town. You're running out of time. Wait, wait. <coughs> Lacey Towers. There was a murder. It was supposed to be his same house. But, or Black Mask. He's got problems of his own, I'd say. Someone broke in there. <coughs> It appears the game is over before it even begins. I'm not playing games, Slade. Tell me where I can find Black Mask. You better have some surprises in store, or this is going to be over quick. <laughs>
Deathstroke's device to get up to the balcony. Looks like I can use the remote claw I took from Deathstroke. Alfred, get GCPD to take a look at the final offer. More to Dixon Docks. They'll find Slade Wilson tied up and waiting for them. Along with some of Penguin's illegally obtained weapons. Uh, another anonymous tip? Will do, sir. Citizens of Gotham, your cries for help have been heard. I am anarchy, voice of the people, here to save you from the plague of corruption that now infests this once proud city. Those hired and elected to keep us free and safe won't lift a finger. And why would they? They've been bought and paid for, encouraged to turn a blind eye. If they won't act, I will. At dawn's first light, the sources of Gotham's ruin will be destroyed. Now, back to your regularly scheduled programming of propaganda and consumerist garbage. As if there isn't enough going on tonight. I should hurry to Lacey Towers before the cops destroy all the evidence from the crime scene Penguin mentioned. 
hoping you get a minute of your time. See, I've got a story to tell you. About crime and violence. Greed and vengeance. But it's also a story of redemption. Of second chances. Of change. I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strongest. But unlike those I fight to overthrow, I believe in choice. So, I offer you one. Let them detonate, or stop them. Your actions will determine what I do with you. I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strongest. But unlike those I fight to overthrow, I believe in choice. So, I offer you... Whoa, whoa, easy now. I ain't looking for a fight. Got a message, that's all. Anarchy says if you're gonna make a withdrawal, you better do it soon. to the competition. you will, sir. Investigating this crime should have a relay station set up. It'll look like a mobile satellite dish, probably on a rooftop. <laughs> Balcony. That could be my way in. My suitcase. I would murder Black Mask and his lady friend. I found the bastard's stubby little fingerprints right by the bodies. Yeah, we got Penguin now. Like the team swarm out of this one. Fingerprints, two dead bodies. We're about to do some time. Yeah, except forensics will take all the credit. And I'm the one who found the prints. That's why they call it first response. First pickings on the loot, but none of the glory. Me? I take the loot over to glory any day.
police believe Penguin murdered Black Mask. But why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis' girlfriend or one of them at least. She was no angel, long list of priors, but nothing to indicate she was the target here. The fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. The shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. This bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height. But the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. These fingerprints are a match for the penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room, but these prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter, and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. DNA here doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. It could have been either one of them. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. This DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. She was sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker. Someone killed Black Mask. But this crime took place several days ago, and I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The only answers I have raise more questions. 
Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here? Or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. Welcome home, sir. The concussion detonator is on your workbench. Remember, if you use that instead of your fists, you'll do less lasting damage to those police officers and civil servants. Noted. Sir, a moment of your time. What do you want? There's something about this Enigma fellow that doesn't sit right with me. Unfettered access to resources, an extensive network spread across the city. Whoever he is, the man has connections and capital. We can use that to our advantage. If he's buying things in bulk or using lots of power, we could track him. Perhaps, but he's also clearly a technical wizard. He's likely covered his tracks. Keep searching. He only has to slip up once to give us an opening. Certainly, sir. We might have to cancel New Year's at Wayne Manor. It's going to take a while for the city to recover from tonight. Absolutely not, sir. I didn't realize the party meant so much to you. It doesn't. Only, it's one of the rare times you actually seem to enjoy yourself. I enjoy myself plenty, Alfred. I hope you're lying. For both our sakes. Your detective work tonight is most impressive, Master Bruce. A shame it couldn't be of the armchair variety. Thank mm -hmm. you. 